There are too many MPs in the parliament who are tainted by corruption allegations. Zondo Commission has identified quite a number of MPs that are implicated in corruption. So we do not understand why those MPs are still serving in the parliament. And we don't understand why the ANC, particularly the president of the ANC and the National Executive Committee of the ANC and the ANC as, as the governing party, why they are not taking a stand against corruption. Because that money would have saved many lives, would have changed many lives. But that money is used to self-enrich those that are politically connected. And majority of them are in the ANC. And pretending to be representing the poor while they are there for themselves, for their own families. We as um, members of the community, we had enough, so we're taking a stand. We are condemning any corruption at any level of the government, whether local, provincial, and national. And we would like to see those that are implicated, prosecuted, uh, convicted, and sentenced, so that that sends a clear message to everyone that corruption is a crime. Uh, we are not here to throw stones, burn anything. We are very peaceful. And we are here for a genuine cause, a cancer in our society, corruption. We wanted and we still want to be here in the next three days, three nights, uh, fasting as a political protest. We are not going to be stopped by certain regulations. It's a difficult journey. It's very risky. Some of us probably will be killed for taking a stand. But if that is the cost for saving our country, we are prepared to die.